Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today, we're going to be going through my top 5 tips on how to have a successful build. Whether you're building a rover, a ship, or anything in Space Engineers, here are a few tips that will really help both the new builder and someone that is a veteran builder and often makes themselves the odd few mistakes. So first off, we've got ourselves a little rover in the background to use as kind of a little bit of a demonstration piece. Now, there's a few errors in this rover, and of course, I've put them in to kind of highlight the issues. Now, the first tip I want to give you out of the five is build a design specification for whatever you're building. This is extremely important, especially in survival when you've got limited resources and whatnot. But for instance, for this rover, my design specification was some sort of drilling rover that I could transport both supplies and people around. So if we go through the design, I've ticked them off. So we've got the drill bit at the front, so that allocates the sort of drilling part of my design. That's ticked. We've got the transport, so we can transport two passengers. That's that part of the design specification ticked. And the final bit is the cargo container at the rear that is usable and accessible. So that is my three elements of the design specification I've reached. Now the second part is the allocation of resources and time. Now something a lot of builders don't take consideration, they sketch out a massive capital ship in a survival sort of situation and then they realize that they don't have either enough time or enough resources to build it. Now another thing to take consideration with time and resources is if you might have enough resources at your current moment in time but in a few hours time, will your systems drain through that and you won't have the resources required to complete your build? That's just the second thing I want you to take into consideration. Now, my third little tip is plumbing connections and keeping areas sort of accessible. Now, what I mean by this is each one of these areas has to be connected up to the other area. So see for this little problem we've got going on here. We've got the drill bit at the front of the ship, but we have got no way of connecting that to the rear cow container. So now we've built this, we're in quite a situation. There's no way we can get the resources out of that drill bit and into that cow container without doing it manually. Now talking about doing it manually, a simple thing that a lot of players overlook to start with is where they put their reactor. So in the case of this one, I think we've got the reactor over here, I believe. It's actually tucked away and it's, it's accessible, but it's barely accessible. You want to think about this before you place the hatch for the reactor face down and you can't put any uranium in there because if that happens then your ship will be absolutely useless in case you've also decided to put that reactor inside. Now for my fourth little tip. Now you need to complete one stage before starting the other. For instance with this simple design it works exactly the same for capital ships. I'm not going to start the rear area of the ship here until I've completed the drill bit at the front and got it functioning. Number one, I don't know how much space that drill bit's gonna need to extend and whatnot, so build your ship in a chronological sort of order, something that makes sense. If one built bit can't be built without the other, then you're gonna have to build that first. Don't be jumping to other areas of design. A common fault I see in many survival worlds is um, a player might start building a ship, he'll build the hangar, and then they'll go, oh, I'll build the bridge, and then the two areas don't fit together quite right, and he has to bodge the interior. Now, that brings me to the final point, and this is just a quick little tip. It's final system checks. This is something that a lot of players really do take for granted. For instance, in this little droid ship, I want to test a few different factors. I want to test if I can easily access the cargo container, the ship or the little rover drives itself, and up at the top, the drill bit can extend and work. Now, something you might be taking into consideration when you're building a ship is, have you stuck enough gyroscopes on? You don't want to undock that from the port and then just drift off into space. And another thing is, have you put thrusters in all directions? It sounds like a really simple tip, but I've seen some really knowledgeable players in this game mess up in that department and remember before you move that ship make sure all your little ships and other things are either locked down inside or the out of the way the worst thing is you can set off in your new ship you're not used to the how much thrust it has and you thrust your way through four or five small ships that have took you hours to build now, I wanted to keep this video short and sweet, and hopefully them five tips have given you a little bit of insight in what to think about when it comes to building. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Let me know what you thought about them tips, or if there's anything else I should add in the comment section below. I'll see you next time.